Yeah, g'day guys. Just finished making my own CNC plasma cutter here at home and thought I'd make a quick video just to show you how I did it in case anyone else is looking to do a similar sort of thing. So it's an Arduino based system with a CNC shield on top. Uh, running NEMA 23 stepper motors, I think. Three external drivers. Uh, software, I'm using Fusion 360 and Universal G-Code Sender. So here's the machine. We'll start at the electronics box first. So it's running off 24 volt. That's the Arduino and the CNC shield in there. Uh, we've got a voltage reducer there, that's just for the water cooling. This uh, relay here turns on and off the plasma arc. It literally just bridges two terminals on the machine, turns on and off. And that's the drivers that I'm using to run the NEMAs. So all the CNC specific gear I just bought off eBay and that's turned out pretty well so far. Not too expensive. So here's the actual plasma cutter I'm using. It's a Unimig Razor Cut 45, and it'll shear oh, about 12 mil thick steel. And this is the plug that turns it on and off. So you literally just bridge two terminals in there. I think it was pins one and two. And the other plug there's for an Arc OK and uh, the torch light controller, which I haven't set up on this system yet, but might come in the future. So I'm just running it manually at the moment. The water cooling's a must, uh, otherwise your steel's just going to warp and it's going to touch the torch while it's trying to cut and move your workpiece and it'll ruin everything. So. That's a must. Um, this is the system that I'm running. It's just a pump off eBay and it just pumps water up and then feeds back through into the system in a loop. That's the additive that I'm using in the water and that does a pretty good job of preventing the steel from rusting. Um, so yeah, that's good stuff. One of the biggest issues I had was EM interference with the Arduino and it just it just carked it every now and then while it was cutting. So what I did to prevent that was install a sheet of stainless steel here um, and all the wiring is shielded and earthed and so is the frame. And that's done a pretty good job of limiting that. I haven't had too many stuff ups just lately, which is good and I think the next next thing would be to put the electronics in a steel box and earth that. So these slats uh, are just sprung in and that piece of aluminium's just sicker flexed in just to prevent warping if you try and weld it. So that worked quite well, just gluing it in with some rails underneath to stop it bowing. But yeah, the glue holds, holds it in nicely and holds the water back. And then slats are removable as soon as they, as soon as they get knackered, so yeah. Oh, well, I guess next thing's fire it up. So thought I'd get in early and cut out a Christmas present. So once you've got it designed and you've given it a laser cutting tool path, you've got to process it. So the post processor that I'm using, my brother actually customised for me so it talks nicely with the Arduino and the system I'm running. So if anyone likes it, I'm happy to share. So once you've exported the G-code and you've uploaded it into Universal G-code Sender, and everything's calibrated, you should be right to run.
So there you have it. Starts of the cuts produce a little bit of slag, but you just chip that off with a cold chisel or something. And same with the underside, which I'm still working on. Hopefully I can play with a few settings and reduce that slag a bit, but that just chips off with a cold chisel. So the next thing I'd like to do is add a dynamic torchlight controller unit to it, but I haven't quite figured out how to do that just yet with this system. And I also want to tidy up the slag I'm getting, just make my cuts a bit cleaner. So yeah, got a few settings to play around with there, but yeah, thanks for watching. Any questions or suggestions, let us know.